All right, trying once again to uh, record this, make this lesson. So subscribe and leave a like if it helped you out. I still believe in paper most of the time, so I uh, printed out two sheets for this song. Uh, so here's all like all the lead parts for looking out my back door, the song we're doing, and um, the other part is just the chords. I have a binder full of chords, and you know, so I kind of believe in that for the most part. There's still songs that I use on my phone, but having said that, let's get into it. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of bar chords, so hopefully you know them. Uh, it's gonna start out in uh, B flat. So we're gonna need a B flat chord, obviously, as you see here. Down to a G minor, E flat, back to the B flat, to an F, which you can find right there. That's uh, a good part of the progression, right? Um, so you need those chords. Um, and I also play a B flat over here. And then an F over here too. Because uh, when it comes from the uh, this G minor to this F and, and like the chorus -y part, you kind of do this, like, this walk. So let's kind of slow it back down a little bit, go back to the top, and um, kind of hum and have the lyrics on the screen. So uh, the intro, we're going to ignore the solo parts. That's going to be another uh, video I decided, the lead parts. So let's ignore there's going to be an intro. We'll talk about that. Uh, you can just hang on that B flat if you want. Just kind of wait until they come and start singing. So um, just got home from Illinois. So... <laughs> There's a giant doing cartwheels, so the same sequence. There, here comes tambourines and elephants, that kind of the chorus part, so it goes back to the F. So from the B flat, looking out my back door. chorus at the end of the first solo uh, the solo chords are going to be uh, pretty much the same we have B flat G minor E flat B flat F back again B flat G minor E flat B flat F B flat ends on it because it climbs back up to the chorus part of the F so <laughs> key change it goes from B flat to the C so full step right because each fret is a half step all right uh, they do some mutant strings and then they go to a second solo the second solo chords are going to be G F C A minor and G and this time it doesn't go back to a chorus it kind of goes into like the last verse uh, so anyways, I'm going to back it up just a little bit again. I know I'm kind of all over the place, but stick with it. Uh, just talk about the walk that I do. Uh, pretty easy. It's just uh, first fret, E string, third fret, E string, open A, and then first fret of the fifth string, the A string. That's the B flat note. And that's going to create your B flat chord, right? So we're walking into that from the F. I can't even hear me. It kind of lines up almost with the do do do, right? Uh, 
comes from the G minor. Take a ride I'm on the flying spoon. that part all right so now it's uh after the second solo after the key change we're now doing uh chords of c a minor f uh and the g that we talked about right uh so it goes kind of like this it up but we'll get to that in the next video anyways um so you can kind of do that walk again almost not uh, similar to what we're what we did before with the g minor and the f to the b flat so now we have uh uh f to c to g bum, bum, bum. walking into a, a c chord right so we have the g we have a third on the e open a again two th two and then three is your C chord on the A string. Now this kind of when it like slows down too you can hear it in his voice and hear it the whole band just kind of just slows down. Kind of has that cool little ending of C G C your pinky on that G and then like I said the end uh, has that little lick there which we'll talk about and then it's just the same tag chords again the F C G C G C right okay Woo. see I needed two videos above this because it's already eight minutes so hope you liked it and subscribe would you please